Hi, so I will be showing you today how I DIY'd my filing cabinet to transform it into a nightstand. I've been looking for a nightstand for about the past month or so, and if you've bought a nightstand before, you probably notice that the price points are pretty high when you're buying new. I would say at the minimum, you're spending at least $100, if not much more, if it's a style that you're looking for. Even as I was looking secondhand or at off-price uh, retailers, it would either be at like that $100 price or it'd be a very old fashioned end table or nightstand, which don't have drawers or have like a frame that's very old fashioned that's very difficult to transform just by like a paint job or something. So I got the idea, I saw a filing cabinet for $10 second hand and it had um, a wood base to it and I figured that I could make some adjustments to make it a nightstand. So I'll be showing you the steps that I've taken um, but basically I gave it a new paint cover. On the outside I added furniture legs on the bottom and I switched out the knobs. All right, let's get started. So this is what it looks like now, and I actually think it looks better in camera because there's kind of a pink tint and you can't see all the scratches, but unfortunately the color itself is pretty dull in person. So I'm taking everything apart now because this is the easiest way to be able to paint without getting on the drawers. I want to paint the outside a whitish color and then leave the drawers as the wood color. And I think it'll make a nice contrast. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up now. It's actually in pretty good condition. I don't think it was used very heavily, um, but you still want to make sure all the dust and stuff like that um, is cleaned away so that it's a nice surface for you to apply the paint on. So I moved all of this inside the living room because it's actually pretty hot right now. I think it's going to be in the 90s for the rest of the week, so it's getting pretty sweaty. I am going to be applying the primer, and it's really important not to skip the step, otherwise you might have paint that doesn't really take very well on the surface and this was already finished before so I'm going to put on the primer first and then get started with the paint. layers of paint but I've ended up disassembling everything because I wasn't satisfied of how it was turning out. I think because I'm using a foam roller and it's a bit older paint there's a lot of bubbles and things like that that are surfacing so what I'm going to do is sand down the surface a bit and that way when I add in another layer of paint I'm going to be ordering um, a higher quality brush to brush over each piece um, separately and that way it's going to just be a much neater job. I think this would be fine if it was like a really large surface you can't really tell from further away the imperfections but because it is a nightstand and I'm going to be seeing it every single day I know it's going to bother me. So the next thing I'm going to do is to switch out the original knobs from the filing cabinet with the ones that I just picked up from the hardware store. They are a couple dollars each so they're pretty expensive. In general I think switching out knobs is a quick and easy way to give your furniture a little bit of a facelift. In this case, these knobs are still in really good condition, so I'm gonna keep them for later just in case, but because they're the same color as the drawer, it doesn't really stick out. So I think these ones will match a little bit more with like the white paint that I'm going with, and the brass will make it look a little bit more nightstandy. So here's what the knobs look like now. I stack the drawers on top of each other to get a sense of how they would look. Honestly, I'm not super stoked because I think the brass clashes a little bit with the wood color of the drawers. 
I'm hoping it looks a little bit better with the white exterior, but if not, luckily knobs can be easily switched out. I do think that it does give more of like that nightstand look, but I'm just not like 100% satisfied. So I'm now hammering in four T-nuts into the bottom panel of the nightstand so that I can attach my furniture legs onto it. Next, I'm going to be staining the four furniture legs that I have from the hardware store. They're unfinished and I wanted to make sure that they were the same tone or at least the same hue as the drawer colors. So I picked up a couple of different stainer and sealer combination colors and both of them are actually a little bit too light but what you can do in that situation when you want it to be a little bit darker is to add in a couple more coats of stain. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how the color compares. Okay, so I've done a few coats of the stain and it's actually a stain and sealer. So I'm done with this and it's not quite the same color but it did darken it enough to the point where it's kind of in the same color family and I definitely rather have the legs be a lighter color than a darker color. Um, so I'll start screwing in the legs into each T-nut. All right, so at this point, the only thing left to do is to put everything together. 